Introduction to the IABA Club Affiliation Form 2019-2020 For a boxing club to become a member of the Irish Athletic Boxing Association, they must first affiliate to the company. Clubs wishing to affiliate to the IABA must complete the current season's affiliation form and submit the appropriate affiliation slash insurance fees with their application. The fees relating to the affiliation and insurance and the appropriate date for submitting application for affiliation can be located in this season's affiliation letter, which has been circulated to all clubs, on the website www.iaba.ie or by contacting IABA head office 01453 3371 or our Ulster office at 028 9038 3224. Please note, clubs affiliating in Leinster, Connacht and Munster for season 2019-2020 must submit their full completed application for affiliation and accompanying fee to their respective county boards. Clubs affiliating in Ulster must sub submit their fully completed application for affiliation and accompanying fee directly to IABA Ulster, 2A Malone Road, Belfast, BT9 5LA. In this tutorial video we will guide you through the application for affiliation form and the process of affiliation. Page 1 of the club affiliation form is the guidance page which has been designed to help assist clubs with the completion of their application. Clubs should also read this page in detail and follow the instructions as set out. Clubs are required to complete the affiliation in its entirety and should note that failure to do so may affect their application for affiliation. Please note this page will be different for clubs affiliating in Ulster as their applications must be sent directly to the IABA Ulster office as outlined in the introduction of this video. Clubs will need to enter the name of their club in this section and should use the checklist at the bottom of the page as guidance for completing the application. GDPR and data protection are also covered on page 1. Should you require further information in relation to this, please visit www.iaba.ie. Page 2 is the compliancy page. Please be advised all clubs must fully complete and sign this page. Failure to do so may cause a delay to your application. Page 3 is the child safeguarding statement. In December 2017, the Irish government introduced the Children's First Act which made it a legal requirement for all organisations and sports clubs who provide services to children to complete a safeguarding risk assessment and a child safeguarding statement. Clubs will need to enter the name of their club, the club's address and have the club's appropriate officers sign and date the bottom of the document. Please be advised all clubs must fully complete and sign this page. If failure to do so may cause a delay to your application. For more information on the club safeguarding risk assessment and child safeguarding statement, please see the related tutorial videos. Visit www.iaba.ie or contact david at iaba.ie. Page 4 is the About Your Club Section 1 page. In Part A of this page, clubs must list all their applicable contact details and information. In Part B, clubs who offer services to members with disabilities should complete the first part, while the second part, which asks which are you registered as, is to be completed by NI clubs only. Page 5 is the Officer Committee Section 2 page. Here clubs must list their committee members which include the club president, secretary, treasurer and child protection officer. In line with best practice, clubs are encouraged to avoid naming the same person in more than one of these roles. Please be advised the club's child protection officer must be fully vetted through the IABA and must have attended safeguarding training. At the bottom of page 5 you will see a section for club volunteers. Please note this refers to non-coaching volunteers within your club. Please be advised, if this volunteer has regular access to children as part of their role within your club, you should tick the yes box. If the volunteer does not have regular access to children as part of their role within your club, you should tick the no box. All volunteers who have regular access to children as part of their role must be vetted through the IABA. Please note, failure to adhere to the above instruction in relation to vetting may affect your application for affiliation. Page 6 is the Club Members Information Section 3. This page is broken into two parts. The first part is for the club coaches' information. Clubs must list all their coaches in this section. 
please be advised all coaches must be vetted through the IABA. Part two of page six asks the clubs to list any qualified referees and judges who are members of the club. Please be sure to tick the box which indicates if the member is a referee or judge. Please tick both boxes if a member is a referee and judge. Page seven asks clubs to list their senior boxers over the age of 18. Clubs should list all of their athletes over the age of 18, both competitive and non-competitive. Clubs should also indicate if the athlete is a male by marking an M or a female by marking an F in this section. Pages eight and nine asks clubs to list their underage boxers, boxers under 18 years of age. Clubs should list all of their athletes under the age of 18, both competitive and non-competitive. Clubs should also indicate if the athlete is a male by marking an M or a female by marking an F in this section. Page 10 is the County Board Section 4 page. On this page, clubs will need to identify which county board they are affiliating to by circling it on the page. Page 11 is the Declaration Section 5 page. Clubs will need to insert the name of the club where prompted and have the club's president sign and date this page. Clubs who are re-affiliating from last year will be required to list boxers who competed for the club last season, their opponents, their opponent's club and the date the contest took place. Newly affiliated clubs who did not have boxers compete in the previous season will need to tick the box to indicate this. Page 12 is for office purposes and will need to be completed at county, provincial and national level in Leinster, Connacht and Munster. In Ulster, this page will only need to be completed at provincial and national levels.